All right, you ready? Get a pencil out. Here's what you're going to need. We're going to make two loaves of bread out of this. So you need two cups of water, half a cup of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of yeast, quarter cup of oil or melted butter or whatever you want to use for that, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and six cups of flour. It's super easy to make. So let's get the ingredients and we'll start throwing it all together. All right, first off, two cups of water. Now I'm going to use, use the hottest water that comes out of my tap. Because by the time I put the other ingredients in there, everything will be back down to a normal temp that the yeast can handle. All right, next thing that we're going to put in here is six cups of flour. Um, you could actually cut this in half. I'm only do half of that. If you only want to make one loaf of bread, but I figure if I'm going through the motions of doing it, I'm gonna make two loaves. And that's about six. And I should use a bigger bowl. Okay, my bad. I got another glass mixing bowl. It looks exactly like that. That's way bigger, but. Apparently I grabbed the wrong one out, so I just threw it in here. This will work. Alright, next thing is a half a cup of sugar. Right on in there. Next thing is a quarter cup of oil. Butter, whatever you want to throw in there. I use canola oil. I don't know if it's any better for you or not, but that's what I got. One and a half teaspoons of salt. I'd rather skip that because I don't like to put salt in my stuff, but if you don't put salt in it, it won't rise so all right here's the yeast right here there's a tablespoon and then or another half or maybe more don't matter here's where I cheated and I threw it in my bread maker and I'm gonna let the bread maker actually stir it up because it's gonna sit there and stir for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna pull it out and I'm not gonna let the bread maker actually cook it I'm just letting it do the stirring, but that's what bread makers are for. All right, looks like it's done kneading the dough, so got a nice ball in there. I'm gonna pull that out. Um, one thing though, make sure you unplug the thing before you put your hand down in that thing. The next step's real easy. You got a big ball of dough you can see right there. Um, all I do is leave it on the counter, and I just cover it up with paper towel. And after about an hour, it should rise up. So we'll uh, we'll check back in about an hour. Okay, it's been about an hour. Let's see what we got. Wow, look at that. That thing's got way bigger. So it's time to pull that thing out, punch it down, let it rise one more time, and then we're going to make some bread. All righty. Well... I'm just a weirdo about germs, so I got a sponge in there, and it's sitting in bleach water, which I'm going to wash off this rolling pin and that counter with before we throw our dough on there. So that's the next step. Just get your stuff clean. All right. The next thing I do is get out a couple pans. I wish I had two of these cast iron ones, but I don't. I got that for Christmas for my daughter. I love that thing but I got one and a glass one um, you can use Pam or butter or whatever you want but I do it the old-school way like my grandma did with some Crisco but you need to take a little bit of that and put it on the pan so the bread doesn't stick just put some on your fingers rub it around you'll be all right all right the next part I can't do on video cuz I don't have a tripod right here but I'm going to take that dough out, I'm going to throw it on the counter, I'm going to take that rolling pin, and I'm going to flatten it out. And then I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to fold it like I'm making a burrito. I'll, I'll probably try to show you that part. Then I'm going to put it in those bread pans. And that'll be that. So here it is before I flatten it all out. The only reason I'm flattening it it's because there's some big bubbles in there and we're going to pop all those and then we're going to let it rise one more time. Make some perfect bread.
So now all I've done here is just flatten it out with a rolling pin. Not a whole lot to it, really easy to do. Uh, next step is we're going to cut it in half because we're going to make two loaves of bread with this. Alright, it doesn't matter if you cut it long ways or the other way, it just doesn't matter. You're going to cut it in half. Next thing is we're going to fold it. So there's part of it folded. I'm going to fold the other part. There you go, both of them folded. No big deal. Alright, now I just threw them in the pan. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to cover this back up with that same paper towel that we had before. Grab that a moment. And we're going to let them rise one more time until they fill up that pan. Then they're going to be ready for the oven and we're going to have some great bread. Okay, it's been about a half an hour. This bread ain't ready yet, but look at that. Starting to rise, looking good. Okay, our bread's ready to go. What do you call that? Re rise. 350 for 30 minutes, and we got two perfect loaves of bread.